Okay, I did a a live show on AroundTheCabin.com the other day, and uh, they were asking me about m how I'm going to run my electric and water and all that, so I thought I'd make a quick little video on how I'm going to do that. This obviously is the well house. Uh, I've got a trench dug up to it. That right there is the water line. Um, and that's going to be the water supply in the house. Most likely, the pressure tank will go in the well house. That's the way most people do it around here. I have seen people put the pressure tank inside the house. Uh, I haven't decided for sure on that, so we'll see. But, but that's the water supply to the house. And this trench just runs down to the, to the house there. And it'll go through, I'll turn one of the blocks sideways to run the wire pipes and wires through, like I did over there for the sewer. But, and there's my electric wires that are already buried in the ground. They run caddy cornered back over that way. I'm not going to reuse those. I'm going to get new ones because they've been in the ground for 25 years. I don't know how good they are still. They're probably fine, but I'll use new ones. And uh, there was a little confusion about the uh, about how you're going to run from the power company and all that. There's already a power pole here. Uh, it's in kind of rough shape. It hadn't been used in, like I said, 25 years. So, but there is power already run. The line is still up. They might have to cut that tree out, but the line is still up. And. Uh, in most residential electric setups, you're going to have three wires. You're going to have two hots and a neutral. And as you can see here, you know, there's your two hots, and then there's your neutral side. And uh, they'll just all run together like that. The blacks are hot, the yellow's neutral. I'll come off of a, they'll probably replace this meter box. And, uh, what they do is they just run the wires from the actual meter, well, from, from the breaker here, from the main shutoff, up through the meter, and then up to the actual feed. The electric company does all that. From that, from that right there down all the way to the house is my responsibility. So they, they just come hook that up and leave. So you could pretty much do it however you want, but you want it to be safe. Um, and then the telephone service is right there. But anyways, they, which all that will probably have to be updated because, like I said, again, nobody's lived here in over 25 years. So what I'll do is I'll come in with new wire, and then uh, I'll put conduit right there down into the ground. I don't know why there isn't already some there, but there's not. And I'll run my three wires down the conduit over into my trench here. And then I'll run the all three of the wires down into, through the foundation, and then up the foundation trench alongside the blocks once they're laid, obviously all the way around down in there and I'll run them back here to the uh, utility room and that's where my breaker box is going to be originally I was going to put the utility room down there it'd be a shorter run with the wire but I've got a, I've thought up a new house layup and I, I think it's going to work out a lot better. So this back here is going to be the utility room. It'll cost a little extra initially with the, you know, extra wire. That wire is not cheap. It's about three quarters of an inch thick per wire. So it's not cheap, but at least it's not copper. If it was copper, it'd be an ungodly amount. So that's how I'm going to run the electric. And then, you know, obviously from the, uh, from the main breaker, you know, you'll tie it into your to your main shut off in the breaker, and then supply your your uh, power buses and and ground, and then 
for for my ground I'm gonna run a copper grounding rod or two I'll probably put one just outside the foundation there and then I'll probably put one back over there somewhere and that's how I'll run my that's how I'll ground my breaker box with grounding rods and then you'll run you know copper wire up to that and then you'll just go off of your you know install your breakers for whatever you're gonna do and wire your house from the breaker box that's basically it the water will will enter over there and probably come along the trench in the same trench as the electric I'll separate by at least six inches of dirt so they're not touching each other but and then the main water inlet will be usually at the hot water heater so I just thought I'd let everybody kind of know what how I was gonna do that since it kind of came up on the live show the other day but that's basically it so any questions or comments just drop by I really enjoy talking to people so just any questions at all you know any comments just stop on by and leave those and it's usually pretty fast I get back to you